Hello and welcome, Aquarius. Welcome to your January 2022 general reading. Now, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can support me now by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Brand new year, Aquarius. Let's have a look what we got for you. We will slightly um, divide the video in sections so it is easier to understand and also um, you get a bit more that way. So we will firstly look at the overall energy for the months of January 2022 for the star sign of Aquarius. And then after the overall energy we will go into your emotional core. So we go into your emotions that could be about trauma that still needs to leave, that could be about love, could be about all sorts of things with, uh, to do with literally your emotions. And then um, lastly we will go into an area um, called opportunities. So that will be looking at what's coming in for you in January 2022. And that usually, because I only work here, <laughs> usually it means that um, this is about stuff that, that um, helps you regarding what sustains yourself financially. Right? Shall we do this? Perfect. Let's do this. Before we look at the cards though, and I'm using the Atlantis deck today by Diana Cooper, it is important to realize that on the 2nd of January we're having a new moon. Right? So uh, already the year starting off with you understanding, oh, good time to actually manifest new beginnings and let them go since it takes two weeks from the new moon to the full moon and the new moon has no light. Light comes in slowly, so whatever it is you manifest might not be changing or manifesting immediately, but use the beginning of the year, use the new energy um, of January um, and manifest and look at what it is you really desire in and for your life, right? Um, other important thing is that on January the 4th, um, we're having a massive boost come in for all of us because the Earth is closest to the Sun. Um, and this is called a perihelion. And when this happens, that the Earth is closest to the Sun, um, we're getting a massive energy boost because the Sun obviously is what gives you your energy because whatever star sign you were in when you were born, the Sun was in the same sign. So the Sun gives you your star sign, Sun sign. So the Sun is quite important. Um, as an energy giver, and since the Earth, the blue planet we live on, is very close to the Sun, we're getting a massive boost. So what that means in translation is whatever it is you hear here today for you um, is strongly amplified on the 4th of January. So again, what I'm hearing strongly for Aquarians, uh, is, Aquarians is to actually um, have plans make plans and be proactive about anything you want to achieve um, in 2022 and in January in particular. Now let's have a look at the overall energy for the months ahead for the star sign of Aquarius for January 2022. Let's have a look what we got. You have the high priestess and the fifth and the fifth dimension. Let me just show this to you. And what that means is, every time the High Priestess comes in, um, what she says is, you're fully protected, your guides are here. The High Priestess also tells you that because you are from the stars, um, always see things from a higher point of view and understand that what you are is a representation of whatever it is that is divine, if that makes sense. So there's a reason for you being here. You have a purpose. You are here for a reason, right? So what they're asking you is to treat yourself super kindly, right? So that the universe can support you finding your path, if that makes sense, right? And don't despair. That's actually a message that I'm getting strongly from, from the high priestess here. And you have the fifth dimension. And you have heard this before, that we're in the third dimension and we're traveling to the fifth dimension. There's a lot of shifts going on. If you follow <coughs> sorry, the Schumann Residence, right, which is the vibration of our, our, our Earth, it has been off 
for quite some time. So vibrations around us are changing. We're very affected by, um, by the uh, magnetic fields that sort of bombard us because there's loads going on in the stars. Um, and you can see how crazy uh, people have behaved in recent times. Um, that's also partly because all the energies are off and it's very, very difficult to find oneself in that mess, right? And all the guides are saying to you, your overall energy is fifth dimension. You are growing. You are going places. You are ascending to a, a better, sounds weird, a better energy. All they're saying to you is, you have a purpose. You're supposed to be here on this planet, right? So be on this planet because you came here to accumulate, right? So learn everything there is to learn. Let go whatever it is that needs to go. And this will probably be explored when we go to the next section. Ultimately, the fifth dimension is telling you that, again, you're fully protected. Whatever it is you're going through at this point in time, it will not stay that difficult forever. There's a saying that even the darkest hour only has, has 60 minutes. So ultimately, what I'm hearing for Aquarians is to not despair in the month of January, but also to have a plan. Look at what it is you really want. And if you dream, dream big, right? So that was your overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Aquarius. And remember, you are the water bearer. You are uh, by default a, um, a sign and therefore a person that prefers to give rather than take. So it will be difficult for you at times to actually claim what's yours. And it's important that you do this um, as well this month, right? So here we go. With regards to your emotional core, you have the, the marriage and the seven pillars of wisdom. Don't worry, you're not gonna get married off, right? This is not necessarily about people and marriages. This is simply terminology. So you have marriage and the seven pillars of wisdom. Marriage means that it is time, because we're talking about your emotional core, which is also about love and, you know, trauma, <clears throat> excuse me, that needs to go. It is time, Aquarians, to commit and to look into what is working, what does my soul want, is it time for me to settle down, am I looking for a relationship, that is fulfilling on all levels, or am I just a wild card at this point in time? Assess how you truly feel, but it's also time to commit. If this is not about a relationship for you, then it is time to commit to your healing. Really, really important because that's what marriage means. You know, you you um, that's the the essence here, basically um, symbolic symbol symbolically, <laughs> literally means to commit to getting the help and the support that you give freely to others to claim that for yourself, right? And then you have the seven pillars of wisdom, which means you're still growing, but you're also, while you're growing, especially obviously in, in your emotional core, in your relationships, in how you feel about things, in letting go of trauma, the number seven comes up. And seven is the sevenfold number and the highest number of protection, because as the saying goes, um, you ask Archangel Michael in the St. Michael script, for instance, for sevenfold protection, and it goes like this. La, la, la. I ask Archangel Michael, um, please, you know, um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> can't think. Yeah, just made it, need to, need to um, calm myself a little, <laughs> because this energy, the energies here are quite high, right? So. Ultimately, the seven, the seven full protection goes, I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. And then you say that seven times. I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. I ask you, Lord Michael, to fill and surround me with your great force field of blue flame of protection and healing, that nothing can enter the force field of my aura without your divine permission. Thank you, God, Goddess, and so it is, right? So you use that um, as a um, very powerful, almost like a mantra uh, for you to understand that you're fully protected. And because you have the seven pillars of wisdom, it means that whatever it is, you are either letting go 
or going through at the moment is part of a bigger plan of teachings. Right? Because every person that you encounter um, is either a teacher or a student, so everyone you encounter is here to teach you something. And that's what's also important for you to understand because we're talking about your emotional core, is that this might just be the time where it is time for you to reflect on where you are at this point in time and what it is you would like to see change and then bring about these changes, right? So, Aquarians, let's move to the last section of this reading. You're watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share, especially the like helps me grow the channel. Um, if you like my work, you can support me now by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, all that's left for us to do is to look at your opportunities as they present themselves to you, Aquarians, in the months of January 2022. So, you have nature in the black, I can't pronounce it, black mage. The mage is literally um, one of those really highly trained shamans, if that makes sense. So what the guides are saying to you is, again, this is all about protection. Um, you're very protected, but you have nature and the black mage, or marsh. I, I, I don't really know how, how this is pronounced in any way. Here is your energy for opportunities that will come your way, right? So what is important, therefore, is, is for you to understand that opportunities come to you best when you actually find yourself in a, what is called a magical um, energy. So what that means for you, Aquarians, is to get your crystals out, right? Prepare a space um, where you look at, at your crystals, where you, where you use a pendulum, right? So cleanse your space, hire your energy, Engage in spiritual practices because you are a spiritual being in a physical form, if that makes sense, right? So you have a, um, a physical experience, but you are a spiritual being. And what I'm hearing for you, in order for, for, for you to attract opportunities, is to hire your energy. <coughs> and because your incoming energy here was nature. Literally what they're saying to you is, right, get out in nature. Nature is our biggest ally. So what I'm hearing is, and I know it's January, they're asking you not to say, oh, the weather is bad and not going out. Find a way to be in nature. Even if you just walk five minutes and find the next and nearest tree that you can hug and reconnect, it is really important in order for you to understand, you know, life continues and I want to grow. Be in nature. And because you have the black marsh, mage, highly trained shaman, whatever that even means, <laughs> right? What they're really saying to you is, a lot of the things that come to you, come to you based on your energy. And all you must do is to hire your energy as best you can. And what comes to my mind um, is pendulums. You know, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse your energy, right? And you can draw yourself a vortex by just asking the pendulum to draw you, your, your, draw your vortex. And once the vortex is, has been drawn, um, the pendulum will normally slow down and then you step in physically, inhale, exhale, draw wheel. And what that means is you draw vortex of fresh energy, you step in and you internalize it and you carry it with you all day. And you can do this every day. And if life is shit, you can do it twice a day. <laughs> right? Ultimately, in order for you to realize that um, things can be better, um, your energy is needed to make sure things come to you, if that makes sense. So um, if there is frustration or even depression coming your way, that's why the guides are saying is find countermeasures as best you can. Um, crystals come to mind because they're really, really powerful, um, right? So, Aquarians. That's all I've got. See you all next month. Bye.